when we started, we were worried about the governance angle, mm. but for energy governance and from an environmental perspective, we looked at the footprint of different energy types. Mm. And so that was our initial concern. And then SAFSI has been specifically engaging with government around the energy future of the country. Mm. And part of it was around the impact on the poor and electricity prices. So rising electricity prices impacts on the poor and the vulnerable most. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we started to come in and say, but how are decisions being made at government level about what's the best electricity future because clearly nuclear is the most expensive and therefore that's going to have a bad impact. So why, why, what's going on here? And that's when we started to understand that the decision making processes weren't happening as they were supposed to. Right to know and SAFSI, Earth South Africa, they gave us um, exciting things to talk about in the media. So apart from just talking about the court case, we could now talk about the protests on the bridges and we could talk about, you know, different different angles um, that are, are important because the nuclear issue isn't just about, you know, nuclear, it's about economics, it's about um, our, right, our right to know, our right to be involved in the constitution. So it's just about trying to make it accessible to everybody that we all feel that this is actually our nucleus this is our nuclear situation it's our nuclear case it's you know it's not just the safsi illa case it's actually a south african issue we decided um, two years ago to, at our national summit to have it as one of our resolutions for the year uh, every year we, we, because there was a lot of secrets coming out they were doing a lot of things underhanded we heard about this russian deal but we didn't know what what is the facts about it. Um, Parliament wasn't involved, um, and then we, then we were, uh, sent them a letter to say when is this parliamentary hearing then? Um, and so there was just a lot of silence. And because we work on secrecy and transparency and open governance, that's where we came in. Um, yeah, I think we we were lucky that the people um, decided to do a fundraising for court cases because we were clearly not able to do a court case, and the court case proved to be very instrumental. Mm -hmm. Zafsi started a vigil, a picket outside the gates of Parliament on a Wednesday morning. And today we actually finished that last picket. We had a celebratory vigil because of the judgment last week. So it was more than two years that every Wednesday we stood there and uh, basically sh spoke truth to power. Um, and sometimes there was like two people in the rain and the wind mm -hmm. come there, come shine. <laughs> and sometimes it was 25 people or 50 people, you know. In the, in the, so that that I think has been it's been about knowing that you are going to win, and it's a long haul, and you just keep going step by step by step. And um, uh, tell me how you felt when you heard about the courts um, ruling. Oh, I was happy. <laughs> I, mean, I, I heard those facts. So I heard about it afterwards, yeah. But yeah, I definitely was happy. It was a positive. Um, yeah. yeah. I was hopeful after after December's yeah. uh, December's finding a little bit um, when they when they awarded punitive costs. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so it was a little. Yeah, no, I was so excited. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, wow, because I think we didn't expect to get everything. Everything. We just got slam dunk. Yeah. Nuclear for myself was foreign because it, it's, I, I saw it mostly as an environmental issue. But then when we brought the right to know angle, which I'm more familiar with transparency, and then we step in and we say, this is important. This, they want to spend so much money, more than a trillion rand money, on, on this thing. And then we designed a pamphlet together, which we translated in different languages. And in this pamphlet, the, key, the core message was stop the trillion deal mm. because now it was about um, talking to the people. If there was particularly that, uh, you know, for one trillion deal we could buy so many shoes, for one trillion deal we could buy so many houses, for one trillion deal we could create jobs for so many youth. And so that um, was designed to capture the people, like she says, to make this a citizen issue. Women, yes, took leadership, yeah. and and it was a yeah, it was a team easy. effort. It's yeah. easy because we identify with the issues. It's our yeah. children's future, our children's children's future. Yeah. It was the easiest thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, future generations, you know, you want to see your, your grandchildren 
um, you don't want them to be suffering from, from this kind of yeah. bad so future. Yeah. Yeah. So the legacy that you're leaving the next generation is what drives you.